Hi, how are you today? We'll continue chapter one. As fast revision, the material types are conductors, semiconductors, insulators. Insulators in Arabic means awazil, azil, cannot flow the current, maybe marik kahraba, like plastic, glass, wood, and so on. Conductors, هني المعادن أو الأشياء بتمرق كهرباء. Conductors كل شيء بيمرق كهرباء. Can flow the current freely, like iron, steel, copper, silver, and so on. And we have semiconductors, which is in between, which is in between. With semiconductors, can flow the current slowly. At high temperature, act like conductors. At low temperature, act like insulators, like silicon, germanium, boron. So, to manufacture the transistor, we need semiconductors, but not pure semiconductors. We need doped, doping semiconductors. Doping semiconductors mean we will add small amount of impurities to the example silicon 90 percent of all transistors and diodes are made from silicon semiconductor silicon but it's not a pure silicon it's doped or doping silicon so we add inside the atom some impurities to affect the properties to be if we access an electrons inside the silicon, we call it antipe semiconductor. The same silicon can be antipe or p-type semiconductor. The same silicon. If we add some excess electronate, electrons on it, we call it antipe semiconductors. N means electrons, excess of electrons. P type access of holes or protons. Okay, LAN means also neutron. So, both N type and P type material has much greater conductivity than the pure semiconductors. When we do this, when we transfer the pure semiconductor, example silicon, to N type silicon or P type silicon, so begun more conductivity close to the conductor. Okay. Before we begin in transistor, we must pass by diodes. When we put P-type and N-type together, when we put it together, this is called PN junction or called diode. So the diode is contains one p type and one n type pn junction when we put pn junction together okay called diode and you can see the current will flow from negative to positive then the current will flow from anode the positive side to cathode the negative side this is the symbol of diode when you draw the diode triangle, triangle with one vertical line, this is diode. Okay, this is the, the real photo of diodes small, medium, large. Depend how much will hold current or voltage, the power. Okay, we have two kinds of bias or operation how this diode will operate, how we will operate it. If we put, if first we put a battery in the negative side on the anode and positive side of the cathode, this is called reverse bias, okay? If we put negative on the positive side on anode and positive battery to the negative side so positive was negative and negative was positive if we we switch 
this this will not work so it's like an open circuit why because as you can see in magnetic fields or magnetic the negative side and the positive side will attract will will make attraction so the poles here or the holes inside the p type will will go to the, this side and we have here plus and here we have negative so we have another attraction between plus and negative so again the electrons here will go to this side so in the this region the intersection region here we have nothing so because we have nothing so no current will flow here so this circuit will be open circuit nothing happened open circuit so this is called reverse bias okay whereas a normal operation a normal operation we have current when we put the plus five volt to the anode side the plus p type and the negative to the n type or cathode for minus so right now we have a plus with the plus we have repulsion not attraction repulsion so proton will go to this side and here we have negative with negative also we have repulsion so also the electrons will go to this side so when the electrons pass to this side they transfer this membrane the intersection membrane so the current will be flow and the circuit will be closed so here we have this diode is on the circuit is closed in forward bias in reverse bias the diode is off and the circuit is open circuit here so when we have forward bias when we put the plus on the anode and negative on the cathode this is called forward bias normal operation of the diode it's normal operation of the diode it's act like a closed switch so will pass the current and the voltage okay from one side to another side if somehow this polarity is switched the negative on anode and positive on cathode this is reverse bias nothing will happen this circuit act with open switch like open switch so we use diode to protect our circuit from polarity if anyone put negative on positive positive or negative to to protect our circuit to not burn we put diodes on the input okay especially on car audio inside the car okay any question good now we have current voltage relationship for this graph called current voltage relationship for some volt for some volt if the volt is negative here we have negative here if if volt is negative means reverse bias negative we put negative on the anode is reverse bias so nothing will happen so it's the output is zero nothing will happen is zero when we put forward bias when we put voltage positive between this terminal positive here negative here the diode will operate normally and will be closed but after some threshold voltage we have threshold voltage so this is called forward bias forward bias the positive on positive and negative on negative but will not operate normally if after the threshold voltage of the diode which is 0.7 volt 
so the current will generate beginning by 0.5 volt and will be maximum at 0.7 volt so here at 0.7 volt and above if you put 10.7 volt and above so the diode will has current and operate normally if your volt is below 0.5 okay no current okay so this is called a threshold voltage the threshold voltage when the diode will work is around 0.7 volt in our case in digital electronics we don't have 0.7 volt we manipulate only with zero volt and five volt so we don't have one volt two volt three volt five volt we don't have we have low voltage zero volt this is digital this is for digital electronics our course focusing on digital electronics not analog electronics okay because we use digital mode digital electronics so we have two states only in binary mode zero one low high zero volt high volt five volt or ten volt or three volt or whatever so we have zero volt and high volt okay that's why our diode will work on five volt and does not work on zero volt or negative okay you got the idea okay so usually silicon diodes have a turn on voltage on about begin to pass the current about 0.5 volt but will be operate normally or we have conduction the conduction voltage on 0.7 volt called threshold volt have a breakdown voltage that depends on their construction okay each diode has maximum voltage called breakdown voltage اي voltage بيحرق will burn the diode اي voltage بنحطه بيحرق عاده usually for small diodes is around 12 volt 20 volt 50 volts okay if you put 50 volts on this diode will burn out called breakdown voltage four we have something small signal diodes analog diodes these are analog diodes it's not digital diodes we have 75 volts for small signal diode for antenna they use it for antenna for signal diode can hold till 75 volts also we have power device 400 volts but these are these diodes are not for our diodes are not for digital electronics diodes are not for nanotechnology or velas i circuit or embedded system okay in our embedded system we use zero volt and one volt or three volts okay this is for communication diodes or analog circuit and this for power device this is example but this, these diodes are very big it's not small also also have breakdown voltage and also the diode in its properties has maximum current above this current also will burn out even even small voltage okay example here for small diode 100 milliampere 100 milliampere or 0.1 ampere ampere even they can hold 75 volt but cannot hold 0.1 ampere okay so also inside uh, properties of diode or transistor they have breakdown voltage and they have maximum current before burn out so depend on voltage and the current and also for power device can hold many hundreds of amperes okay for power device okay but 
and our system and our digital electronics and our embedded system iot device and our case we have small voltage and small current and micro ampere not milli ampere and micro ampere okay so we we'll use smallest diode for digital electronics circuits small voltage below below 10 volt and below 1 milli ampere in micro and even in nano ampere and even in nano ampere okay we have oh, okay do you have any question here do you have any question good now we have another type of diodes called shot key diode this is the symbol this shotsky diode are also used as a rectifier a rectifier means rectifier means uh, like uh, like uh, filtering the input voltage and uh, adjust the output voltage we'll see an example for that in switch mode power supply we have inside the power supply this kind of diodes shot key diodes the symbol is like here because the forward voltage is 0.3 volts, not, not 0.7, will work at small voltage, 0.3, and it's very fast. Okay? And fast recovery time leads to increased efficiency. We use it for fast circuits. But later we'll use transistor. Transistor is faster. The transistor will be faster than diodes later. Okay. Here an example of diode circuit. Half wave rectifier or full wave rectifier. Okay. A rectifier means we need to convert from AC current to similar square volt ac voltage around 20 20 volt 220 volt the minimum international volt let's say la asha volt la tanshar volt la battery la charging if you want to charge a battery okay and we have voltage source sine wave alternative current uh, source and we want to charge the battery so we need the, something like that we need something like that we need that diode to make a rectifier rectifier means we step down the levels and uh, fix the output okay so this is only for example okay this is for only for example for you the application but we will not use it in our course just for information here if we put this diode here and we, here, we put capacitor here and resistor so the output here will be similar like this the output with time so the first the positive here for ac current or ac voltage the positive here negative here this diode will work normally so we'll pass the current if another wave the negative wave here the negative wave the diode will be off so no circuit so we have delay here we have delay here okay so if you put only diode without a capacitor without capacitor okay without capacitor so the waves will be one wave positive wave negative is removed another positive wave negative is removed and so on and so on okay this is when we put diode this is called the rectifier rectifier means i want some region of the, the whole power now if i put capacitor inside it in parallel to the load in parallel here to the load 
So this capacitor will be charged on. So when we have positive edge, when we have positive edge, the current will pass, the voltage will pass, then the capacitor will be charged. Okay? This capacitor will be charged. When we have negative part, this negative part, so we don't have this diode. So it's open circuit here. So we have only capacitor with the resistor or load or lamp or whatever. So this capacitor will discharge the voltage inside. Act like another source. That's why we use capacitor in the circuit. Okay? So when we have open circuit or this source is turned off or open circuit in negative side, this capacitor will discharge the current or the voltage and make the current here alone. This discharge will be like similar to this. So at the top, the capacitor will be full charged, fully charged when this below and negative the, the capacitor will begin to discharge its current and voltage okay so discharge then another we have another positive side here we have above 0.7 here this is 0 0.7 0 0.7 to open this to operate this diode so here we have 0.7 so will act as 0.7 and so on and so on and so on as you can see the output will be the dotted one and this we forget this so the output when we put capacitor the output will be similar to dc current dc uh, voltage similar called half wave half wave because similar it's constant not constant small slope and small slope it's similar to DC. Here we can convert AC to DC, but it's half conversion. This is called half conversion. It's not exactly. We have some errors, okay? This is called half wave. But if we put a bridge, this is called the bridge. Here we have something like this, okay? We don't have negative side. We transfer we transfer the negative side of this diode, of this, sorry, source, the negative side here is removed because we have one one diode will pass positive, will be on, on negative will be off. So no output on negative side of the wave. But in the bridge, we have here in parallel, D1, D2 will act as, one way d3 d4 will act like another way so in that way in that way the positive side and negative side the negative side will convert it to positive for this combination of diodes for positive side here we have positive if on a we have positive b have negative this diode will work as you can see positive negative negative here this does not work this will work d2 will work positive here negative here as you can see so will work will pass this on another polarity a negative b positive will be d4 will work okay and so on this is the bridge then we have this signals when we put capacitor here so will be charge discharge charge discharge on 0.7 volt till the maximum. 0.7 volt till the maximum. 0.7 volt till the maximum. Maybe the maximum will be 5 volt or 3 volt or 10 volt. Okay. So will be more accurate than half wave. Okay. Here we can convert AC to DC. This is approximately method. They use it in the charge when they charge the battery the charge inside the charge the battery in your home ups and charge they put the bridge 
okay any question now doctor ana ma fahmet ma fahmet شو هل كنت عم تشرحها تبعتها من الاول ايه بس ما 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 فهمت ماخذ الكترو الكترونيك سيركت الكورس اللي قبل كلكم ماخذينه الكورس الالكترونيكس الكترونيكس كورس كلكم لازم تكونوا ماخذينه باو 212 الباور 212 لازم كلكم تكونوا ماخذينه صح دكتور قصدك الالكتريك سيركت ولا الالكترونيك سيركت اي واحد الاثنين اخذتون الاثنين لا الالكترونيك ما اخذته اه اوكي 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 بالالكترونيك سيركت حتاخذون اكثر هلا نحن مش مطلوبين مننا هو اللي بس عم بعطيكم ابلكيشن للدايود هيدا اللي عم نعمله هو ابلكيشن للدايود ان اور كورس وي دونت يوز ذات ان اور كورس وي يوز ديجيتال الكترونكس وي دونت يوز ريزستر وي دونت يوز كاباسيتور اونلي دايود اند ترانزستور اوكي ذيس از فور انالوج سيركت ذيس از نوت ديجيتال سيركت جاست از ان اكزامبل وير وي يوز دايودز to convert ac to dc this conversion is semi conversion this is better when we put this uh, bridge uh, if you want okay uh, forget this because it's out of our course this is not our course it is example okay later in your lab mr muhammad will explain it to you if you want or i will explain it to you outside the lecture okay okay now we have still five minutes we'll go to the definition of transistor okay so the first invented uh, transistor called bgt bipolar junction transistor So as a revision, semiconductors, its ability to change from conductor to insulator. We can be conductor at some parameter or some conditions, and we can be insulator and some parameters. Can either allow current or prohibit current to flow, use as a switch or as amplifier. So we are focusing on switch. And our digital electronics will not focus on amplifier. We learn, we learn about amplifier, but will not use it in our lab or our course. This is analog circuit. Amplifier will be used for communication engineer, for antenna purpose, for broadcasting antenna purpose. Okay, amplifier. But we use it the transistor as a switch. Okay. Now, history of transistor. The first transistor is in 1885 by Marconi. For long distance travel, signal must be amplified. So the problem here, it's light, depend on the light. So we have, as you can see, for, for long distance, the light will be uh, decrease the efficiency of light. So we need amplifier. This is the problem of this kind of transistor. You can, you, you can see it on all the television. In all television. Television Malamba, as if Zakaro, and Jeddak, or Bay Jeddak. Is a Hadan Shayf, television Adim, Khashab, Kumu Bila Khashab, Balbu Filamba. But Dauro, but do let a layahma, lay door. Filayahma, la no la door, the transistor. Had a transistor Adim. Okay, but then Lee DeForest improve Hayda Shi vacuum tube to amplify signal. Hot vacuum tube, Hayda with television, but it's not efficient because it's containing glass, it's fragile, bulky, and dangerous. Okay, so it's a lot of heat, 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 it's a lot of he
we don't need the heat in our circuit okay so this is an old history then in 1947 bell labs invent the first transistor similar to this as you can see they made it of semiconductor germanium not silicon but today 90 percent today 90 percent of transistor are silicon from silicon now let's go to bgt bipolar transistor are one of the main building blocks in the electronic circuit systems they are used in both analog and digital circuit bgt they use it into circuits they incorporate 2pn junction we have inside transistor 2pn junction two diodes okay and are sometimes known as bipolar junction transistor bgt bipolar junction bipolar junction means 2pn junction two diodes inside the transistor similar similar to two diodes inside the transistor now we have a, a transistor control control current through a circuit via an injection current at base b so we have to operate on this transistor we need to control it by current not voltage it's vgt it's current controlled transistor not voltage controlled transistor the base is our is the control input similar to this this is the symbol okay this is the symbol okay we have less than one minute we'll stop right now and we'll continue later do you have any question okay 